Fair use, for entertainment or informational purposes only. Fair use, for entertainment or informational purposes only. Respectfully and responsibly share your opinion in the comment section. Please remember we the people respect all communities. Mr. Kwame H. Brown is not endorsing a political party or a political candidate. Hit the cash app. 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 I don't be around nobody. Warning. This video contains Nigga, everybody all around profanity. somebody. So it seemed like people are isolated in these little safe space groups to where everybody in the group is saying and thinking the same thing. But it's coming from somewhere because in every group, in every pack, there's an alpha and there's there's somebody below. There's tears to this shit. So in every group that you're listening to somebody, whether it be you part of a church group and your pastor is brainwashing, I mean, talking to all y'all, or whether you're a part of whatever group, there's somebody that you're listening to. It's Sunday. And I ain't been at nobody church. <laughs> I'm not submitting to no nigga at no church, no man at no church, because I know that man going through the same shit I'm going through. He see them same hamburger buns switching in them. In them dresses, and he's dealing with that same struggle to be good that I'm dealing with. There are no perfect people. So daily, I work on myself. I say my own prayers. I get myself together. I don't think I need a group to do that. Everybody in that group is coming with their baggage and coming with their shit that they hide. So, no. Nah, I can salute everybody, but sometimes I like to do that from afar. Because we got people set eyes on you and your program and what you got going on. And all they do is try to fuck it up. I got Gilbert Arenas. Keep coming, acting like I'm asking for his consultant advice. I haven't asked him for his consultant advice. But every time is just to put these narratives out in the airways so people can start thinking, well, maybe he's now he's a real celebrity and he looked like he got a lot going on. Why won't Kwame listen to him? It's all these narratives. It's all this game. If you think everything you saying is right and you got the capabilities to be on YouTube, then why for come? You just won't do it. Everything that you trying to tell me through some drunk nigga. Why don't you go do it? Oh, you sold Joe Page. You had all these great ideas. No, you scheme your way to things. You create narratives, you create beef. And then you want to sell it when it gets to a certain point, because, you know, you can't do what I could do. <laughs> You can't. That's why you keep texting me talking about let's build something and let's do something. And then when I, I released that text to one person and then now all of a sudden you on the line talking about, hey, man. Oh, yeah, I I, I did say that. So it's for all of y'all. No, nigga, you wasn't no for all, all nobody. Nigga, you thought I was going to sit there and do a versus battle with that chain gang punk. And I told you, no, nah, you get that nigga to stand in front of me for the shit he said and I'm going to break his jaw. That's what I said. Because you don't stand there. I, I keep telling y'all, I think I'm a man. I don't know if I'm supposed to be a celebrity man or whatever like that. But I would never talk to a man like that because I would be a fear of a consequence. But see, they've told y'all that you shouldn't fear celebrities because you can sue them. And celebrities are just coddly little babies that shut up and dribble. But I don't think I'm no goddamn celebrity. So ain't nothing coddly about me and the shit you said. I can never be in the room with you. And nigga, what we supposed to be talking about? You supposed to stand across the stage and make jokes about my mama and the deceased woman and say you're going to pee on her grave and you think some security guards can hold me back from getting to you? Nigga, please. So I don't know what it is that y'all niggas see when y'all see me. So that's why I try to stay away from certain people. Because what you think and what I think is totally different fucking thing. So now nah, it won't be no versus battle. And I don't want all of you guys to get so excited that this man is gassing y'all head up and lying to y'all. You think them white folks want to hear a drunk, stupid motherfucker talking up under women's dresses? No, they would love to hear him disrespect a number one draft pick like he's been doing ever so elegantly 
all over the internet and why another drunk black stupid or a high black stupid motherfucker with glasses on he sat there and disrespect a man's entire family and talking about hypocrisy like this, this is the dumbest most childish shit in the world you can go through anybody's family and find somebody that been to jail but why are you doing that to me who who are you how do i know you oh you're right i don't so once again you niggas do a great job of proving white folks that all they got to do is sit back and watch the clown show and send one of their gatekeepers to you niggas because they know you'll do anything for some fucking money the most scumbag shit of the earth you will do for some goddamn money and I take pride, no matter no, what somebody call me, a bus or whatever you want to call me, I don't have to disrespect my morals, myself, and nobody else to make no goddamn money. I walk and I stump this shit, and however much I got, whether it's $2, $1, $100, I earned it the right way. See, some of you niggas, y'all will do anything for some goddamn money. I'm just not one of those niggas. So... When people see that you that type of guy, they'll try to play with you in any sort type of way. They try to take your channel. They try to disrespect your character, try to dis call you stupid. But my kids watch. And I told my kids, when you try to be an individual in this world, people hate that shit. And they be asking me, why is everybody attacking you? My son, I talked to my son last night. Why is everybody still talking about you? I said, son, I told you when you're trying to be an individual. They can't stand that shit. They can't stand it. How and why is it him? I'm smarter than him. I got a better camera than him. All the things. They've been saying it out loud. I said, just listen to them, son. And they'll tell on themselves. Just listen to what they say about your father. I ain't bothering them. Well, look at him. He dumb. Look at him. He this. Look at him. He that. I said, just listen to him. I said, that's something that they see in themselves. See, I got something that money can't fucking buy you can go buy all the cameras you can go buy all the whatever else the only thing you could do is say he's not this he's not that he's not this you a fucking liar how many motherfuckers you know did what i've done how many motherfuckers you know whatever come his way he just bite it swallow it and just go on about his goddamn business and keep doing the work how many of you niggas was working at 14 how many of you were digging footings at 14 screeching concrete Working a jackhammer. How many of you? I got that shit money can't buy. I got real life experience, nigga. And I know in real life, don't nobody really give a fuck. So y'all get up here and y'all create these narratives and cry and whine. But in real life, people know me. They've seen me from a great little old bitty boy grow into the man that I am today. And I earned everything I say. So some people don't like it. Some people don't respect it. But when you one of eight and you next to the last boy and you've been carrying the whole family on your shoulders your whole life. Nigga, you earned the right to say what the fuck you saying. I don't give a damn how you measure me to no other man that you think is a celebrity. Nigga, I've been holding my whole family and some other people family, too. So, yeah, you can't tell me nothing. Some of you niggas can't even hold down a job. Some of you niggas wife take care of you. Every decision you make, you got to go ask her first. You know, and that's some niggas. Don't get mad at me because I don't got to do that. <laughs> don't, don't be mad at me, nigga. Fuck you nigga mad about it. This one nigga said, I got two dreads. I say, God damn. How the fuck I get two dreads? They get long, ain't it, you bald head nigga? <laughs> this one nigga said, that nigga only got two dreads. I said, boy, the lies they tell about a goddamn bus. Boy, that shit don't make no sense. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. All right, now take it back, nigga. <laughs> Dumb motherfucker, no content having motherfucker. <laughs> he niggas ain't got no content, boy. I'll tell you every day. Yeah, once again, we're going to talk about Kwame Brown. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know why, though. Boy, anytime you niggas talk about anything else, boy. <laughs> Y'all got a whole fan club based on hate. You know what? Every one of them fans over there, look here, I love y'all still. Y'all come on back to the bus line. Come on, get in the chat, man. We'll let y'all in here. We ain't gonna fuck with y'all no more. Come on in the chat, man. <laughs> I know y'all miss us over here. Y'all sitting there, you don't like me so much, you gonna keep listening to a nigga talk about me? Why not like me so much? I just don't want to hear about this nigga no more. 
Why not do it like that? <laughs> Why not do it like Yeah. Yeah. Wait, damn, where my water at? Oh, I got a little drink of him left. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, his mama ain't his mama. Yeah. That's the that's content. That is content. <laughs> no wonder these niggas challenge wasn't shit before. Fuck that nigga, them Jordan's 17s are better than the Jordan's twos, bitch ass nigga. I'll kill you. Ah! That's content. So now, Gilbert Arenas is the liaison to help black folks make a fool out they sell for the sake of making some money. This is what Gilbert wants to offer the community. Hey, you guys go up there. It'll just be like the rap lead. You think what's going on over here is just like what the rappers do? It's like rap battling. Well, mine is a terrible fucking thing to waste. And I'm glad I didn't waste mine. I'm glad I didn't waste mine. You niggas wasting y'all goddamn mind. I ain't gonna lie to you. Because if you wasn't wasting your mind, you wouldn't need so much help from another man. Ooh, I'm so glad I met this man, Gilbert. I'm so glad I met Gilbert Arenas. I mean, he helped me. He helped the channel. Why you can't help yourself, nigga? Man ain't gonna help you. That man using you. So let's see you do a rap battle with somebody else with my name not involved. Let's see you tell them corny ass jokes on the stage. And let's see a crowd come to listen to you talk up under old with older ladies dresses and call black women B words and, and say, you're going to piss on their grave. Let, let, let's see that happen. Let's see a venue where, cause every time I saw a black woman in the room and a man called her a bitch in front of everybody, boy, I saw them throwing them hands. I, I saw that woman throwing them hands. So, and if you think it's going to go over well for you to do something like that, Tulu, <laughs> I'm straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all go try that shit. That stupid ass idea. <laughs> go try that shit. So, although I love all y'all, I got to go. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you hit the L I K E like button if you have not already done so. I love you to the moon and back. <laughs> Hey,